Season one. I think Vaseline was a sponsor that season. Wow, season one was a long time ago. It's so blurry, girl. It was this magical moment in time where they said, we're gonna turn this basement into a main stage room and we're gonna put the Amaro Instagram filter on the whole thing. Season one was very inspiring for me. I was 19 years old, I remember. I was 19 years old, sitting in my bed with no frame. It was really a futon mattress, but it's not about that. I didn't know a show like this could even exist. And I'm seeing a bald drag queen for the first time. I'm seeing a Puerto Rican drag queen for the first time. I was having this flip book of drag queens flipped in front of me, like, thank you. That was the first time I'd ever seen so many drag queens on television. There was there was never a TV show that had drag queens that were sewing and designing and modeling and acting and singing all at once. Not knowing what RuPaul's Drag Race was gonna be must have been a really scary thing for them. So I have a lot of respect for every one of the contestants from season one. Season one definitely made me a lot more aware of the drag that I did and made me want to kind of step it up because I maybe thought that I wanted to be on it. I mean, even just talking about it, it, it makes the hairs on my, my arms stand up. I mean, the hair on my arms, standing right up. I shave my arms, they're just standing up. There's 100 drag queens that are like fucking Pokemon. Ooh, another 100? Come, RuPaul is gonna buy me something. I see RuPaul's Drag Race continuing to set the standard, as it always has. I see the next 100 episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race becoming even bigger. RuPaul will start accepting female applicants to be drag kings. I think in the next 100 episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race, we should have alien queens. We'll be watching it from space. I know it. I will at least be watching it in my flying car. The first 100 were lovely. Now the next 100 RuPaul's Drag Race episodes, there's only one thing you should remember. I'll be back, and back, and back and back. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.